Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Assassin Ghost and today I'm going to show you how to create a hamburger mobile menu in Adobe Muse CC 2018. So let's get started. First of all, start Adobe Muse, go to File, Create a New Site. And just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to leave every default settings and just press OK. But if you want, you can change it as you wish. So I'll just press OK. And now we have our new file. And I'm just going to add some dummy pages. So for example, features. about products and contact so these are our dummy pages and now we are going to the a master to create the menu because if we create the menu on a master then all these pages have their master page as a master and everything we create on a master will appear on all these pages so we'll go to the A master and now here you have the widgets library so by default it will be like this we have the widgets library here so we first need to go to the menus and drag a horizontal menu from this widgets library I'm just going to close it and I'm going to resize it so now at this point if we preview it in browser by going to file and selecting preview page in browser or by directly pressing ctrl shift e we will go and preview it in the browser So as you can see it's the desktop menu but as we have the small devices such as tablets or mobile phones they have a small screen so as we decrease the size you can see that it's crammed right here and we want to create a mobile friendly menu for this website so we'll go back again to the muse and now at this point we'll create a breakpoint We'll right click on this breakpoint bar and say add breakpoint and choose the breakpoint width to 320. As this is the width for the mobile breakpoint. Now we are here. We don't want this menu to appear on our mobile menu. So we'll just select it and right click on it and say hide in this breakpoint but it will still be visible on the desktop and tablets so we just need to go here and now we want to create the hamburger menu for mobile so I'll just go to rectangle tool by pressing M or selecting it from here and then I will create the hamburger I'll draw a first rectangle and then I'll go to fill and I'll fill it with a black color and then I will go to the move tool or selection tool and then I will press alt key or option key and then drag it like this I'll create another copy so as you can see we have the hamburger menu I'll just group it together so that it will be easy to move them all together and now we need to hide it in other breakpoints we want it to appear in the uh, mobile site but we don't want it to appear on desktop site I'll first select it and then I'll right click on it say hide in other breakpoints so this will be visible in the mobile website but not in the desktop website so now we want to create the actual menu itself so we'll go back again to the, our widgets library and this time we'll go to the panels and we will drag an accordion panel
and now we need to resize it a little bit and we'll overlap our hamburger icon this accordion panel comes with already with three so we just want one so we'll select the third one and press delete then we'll select the second one and press delete now we have the only one accordion panel so I will go and right click on it and say clear widget contents and then clear widget styling clear all styling now I'll delete this text and I'll resize it a little bit and then I'll click on this small icon to change the behavior of the accordion menu I'll say can close all and if you want this accordion menu to overlap the below items then you can check this box I'll just leave it I'll just take this can close all so now we'll go back again to menu and this time instead of dragging a horizontal menu we'll drag a vertical menu and place it inside the accordion panel and we'll resize it and we'll also resize the content area and now we want accordion panel only in our mobile website not in desktop website so I will just right click on it and say hide in other breakpoints and now I'll press Control shift E to preview it in the browser also note that if we just decrease the size of it then you can see it's already expanded so make sure you need to collapse it in the design menu because if it's expanded here then it will be expanded here by default so we need to collapse it and then we'll preview it again and now as you can see we have this hamburger icon and if we click on it we'll see our menu and then we can click it back and if a user is visiting it on desktop or tablet they will see the regular menu so this is how you create a hamburger menu in adobe muse so if you like this video please leave a like and also subscribe to my channel because i'll be releasing uh, various muse tutorials one by one i upload regularly and if you want to support me then the patreon link will be in the description and as always thanks for watching